Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm back on the Bear Peninsula. I'm back in Alahees, a place that I visited actually when we first got out of lockdown. I went to the beach that's down below me here. But up on the hills in uh, Alahees, you have the old copper mines and you have the remnants of one of the buildings that are there. It sits proud on the hillside. You can get up behind it and you can get some beautiful photographs across the whole bay. Today though, uh, there seems to be some sort of either intentional gorse fire or an unintentional gorse fire but there's smoke now that is billowing across the valley here so it will either give me a different type of shot and an interesting type of shot or it'll make it even harder again to be able to figure it out but um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take a number of different exposures so I'm going to uh, aim for a long exposure for the simple reason being is that the wind is blowing this way so I might get some uh, movement in the clouds. Probably also get that smoke as well as it comes across the valley. What I'm also going to do is play around and get a couple of different compositions because right now I'm looking back over the bay and I want to get a nice composition that I'm not missing out on anything. I'll have to play around as well where I have that smoke coming also, but it will definitely give me, I think, some different types of shots anyway to get today. Um, weather, gray, nothing different really. Don't know if I'm going to get anything, uh, a bit of light in the sky or anything like that. The time uh, right now is 10 past 7 and it's around 20 past 9 for sunset. So I'll either stay here for sunset or I'll get a couple of quick shots here and then I'll go off and find somewhere else for sunset. That's if we do get a sunset anyway here today. But beautiful spot. I've always wanted to be here, always wanted to get here. Never got here until now, but I'm glad that I did. Obviously the conditions could be nicer. But, you know what, there's no such thing as bad conditions in landscape photography. There's always a shot to be had. So yeah, I'm going to get set up anyway here, see what type of compositions I can get. And once I find one, I'll check back in again and I'll talk you through the type of photograph that I'm taking. First shot now that I've taken here is pretty much the same as that I've shown you a moment ago here when I was doing the intro to camera because I can frame this on the left hand side I get the expanse of the bay going back out with the headlands there's a haze there as well you can just make out the two islands that are off the headland over here but down below me then as well here you've got the town of Alahis and you know there are some beautiful houses there they're all different colors but the challenge now is that you've got this smoke that's coming across the valley, as I would have mentioned earlier on. Now, at the moment, I've got that smoke on the left-hand side of the uh, tower within the frame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back this way, and I'm going to try and reframe it that the smoke is actually behind the structure. So it doesn't look as prominent in the frame. It might give a bit of a feeling of movement as well with the smoke coming towards it. I'm not quite sure. Never been here before, like I said, but I'm going to play around anyway again and uh, see what kind of composition I can get from there. At the moment, um, I'm looking at a one second exposure. I don't even need to go for a long exposure. I just wanted to see what it was like, see if I can get some movement, like I said, but I'll take a couple of quick snapshots as well then as well, just normal speed. Uh, and then I can show the difference between both of those photographs. But yeah, first one in the bag anyway, let's move back this way now and we'll see what type of composition I can find. Framing up the shot here now, you can see the smoke is coming in behind 
out here so behind the turret and it's not as prevalent but it actually gives a bit of a glow coming off the uh, structure over to the right hand side here as you can see this is the edge of the headland and there's just off the edge over here there's just two uh, islands they're not in the frame I might move again in a moment just be able to get those within the frame and try and keep the smoke as well behind the structure I'm going for an f11 aperture um, and my shutter speed then is around about 1 20th of a second my ISO is at 100. I've got my Brad ND on just to be able to control the sky there ever so slightly it's not really needed that much but it seems to be working anyway for me and also with this uh, composition too you can just make out the town of Alahees that's actually down below here with the colorful houses and such like that as well there so the light is pretty flat at the moment um, there's not gonna be much of a change actually is it big big dark bank of clouds on the west as you can see here the smoke continues to bellow the whole way through but I think it's actually quite different and it's add, add an interesting feel actually to the photograph what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send the drone up I'm going to try and get some drone photographs of the area I'm also going to get trying to get some drone footage and I'm going to try and see if I can do the 360 because it's up on its own I should be able to do a 360 with one of the features that's in the DJI drones but yeah I'll send the drone up now, I'll show you that footage and then I'll check back in after that. glad that I sent up that drone that footage looked absolutely incredible on the back of the phone anyway it looked good you'll have seen the footage before me I hope it turns out as well as I uh, saw it on the back of the screen like I said but yeah I managed to get that full 360 and I think that smoke as well is actually adding to the atmosphere within the image also so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up here now for the day doesn't look like the light is going to change much anyway I've gotten what I can do I've taken a couple of different compositions I've gone up higher I've gone down lower as well but I really enjoyed my trip to Alahees and to the copper mines I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me if it's your first time on the channel please consider subscribing give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Schlange Fall